These are my children. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, that was nice. I think that is one of my new favorite pictures of Taylor ever. And welcome to my channel. So today's video is one people have actually asked for. I think this is the first time people have like genuinely been messaging me like, when is this video coming? Is it coming? Are you doing this? Have you bought this? Blah, blah, blah. The answer is yes. So yes, I have bought all of the 1989 Taylor's version vinyl. My CDs came yesterday. I've done an unboxing of them. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in the description below. But today, it's vinyl time. So yesterday, the only vinyl that came, and this was on release date, was the Aquamarine Green. And then I went to HMV to pick up the Crystal Skies Blue. So the rest of them all arrived today in the post. So we're gonna do an unboxing. So these are the two that came yesterday. Honestly, stunning. I love these so much. I literally was showing these to my parents last night and my dad was saying how much he loved the vinyl because album covers just look so good on vinyl because they're bigger. So these are the first two and then the rest of them are all still sealed by literally an unboxing. So let's do, I don't know which one's which. So basically when they released them on the store, I bought all of these from the Taylor Swift store. What happened basically is that you had to buy them separately because when I bought them, they released them like in batches so they release like one vinyl at a time and then at the end obviously they release them all again i didn't really want to cancel all my orders and stuff in case they came later than release day um obviously they did come later than release day but i've got them i'm happy so let's go okay which one is this this one is the tangerine so in the US, this is a Target exclusive, but in the UK, this is available in record stores, it's available in HMV, and obviously off Taylor's website where I bought it. This is kind of like the Midnight's Lavender one where it is the same as the normal version in terms of the cover, but obviously the disc is different. So there we go. I'll be interested to find out if the vinyl itself inside is different, but I imagine it is the same. Next up, this is exciting because I don't know which one's which Like when I'm um, doing this. So, oh. I love doing that. That is the best part of getting a vinyl. Okay, is this... Oh, this is the one I was most excited for. This is the Rose Garden Pink. I love this cover so much. I definitely think my favourite cover is still the original kind of 1989 Taylor's version one, but this is my second favourite and I imagine it will be my favourite vinyl because it is pink. And if you know me, I'm a pink girl. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? And then last but not least, this one must be the Sunrise Boulevard Yellow. Um, okay, let's... I do love opening vinyl, they're so fun. It was so funny when the postman just handed me my post this morning, it was just three of these, just like, take it. I was like, oh my gosh. And last but not least, we have the Sunrise Boulevard Yellow. Stunning, we love her. So we're gonna go unbox all these. Firstly, we're gonna take some selfies with them as well because it's me and I love to take a selfie with my Taylor Swift vinyl, which are kind of like my children at this point. Um, so let's see. Can I get them all in? There's five of these bad boys and they're quite heavy, so... These are my children. This is very hard to do. So this is pretty much the normal pressing of 1989 Taylor's version and it is the Crystal Skies one. Now, unlike the CDs, this does come with a hype sticker. So you can see that there. You can see the hype sticker and what it says on it. So it says, Crystal Skies Blue Edition, collect all four special editions, two LPs on Crystal Skies Blue Vinyl, five previously unreleased songs from the vault and unique photos. So there we go. I bought this one from HMV. The rest of them are all from Taylor Swift's online store. And for anyone curious, this is the one that is made in Germany. There you go. And I will check on the rest of them, see if they say where they're made from as well. So yeah. Usually when I open my vinyl, I tend to do it with nail scissors, but I don't know where my nail scissors are. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a hair grip. Hair grips are perfect for literally everything. I am a big fan of hair grips. So vinyl, yesterday I said how vinyl are more difficult to open than CDs, and then when I tried to open my CD, it took forever. Now with the CDs, I wasn't bothered about the plastic wrapping. This one, I don't care about the plastic wrapping, but what I do care about is that hype sticker. I don't want to lose that hype sticker because sometimes I will stick it on the sleeve I get for vinyl. So basically I get these 75 piece sleeves from HMV just to protect my vinyl, the outside of it. So I might stick the sticker on there. A lot of them, or I've just kind of preserved them because um, it's just a nice kind of keepsake to have. So oh, there we go. So that is hype sticker, fully preserved. And here we have 989 Taylor's version. This is the first time I'm seeing this vinyl. I literally waited, I bought this yesterday and I waited to open them all at once. So I'm so excited to see this. Okay, so it is a gatefold. Oh, wow. Oh, that's 
beautiful oh my gosh I love it oh wow yeah this is good as I was saying in yesterday's video about the CDs there is a full photo shoot for this which is what I love I love it when it's a proper Taylor Swift album photo shoot I think we really missed that with Fearless Taylor's version so there we go we've got the lyrics on here for the songs we also have the album prologue that is just written down there and oh are you ready oh my gosh can I, can I get it out oh come on okay so it is completely opaque it is not uh, marbled in any way completely opaque not um yeah it's just completely opaque not marbled not see-through not transparent not anything like that completely stunning oh my gosh I've, i don't have a vinyl this color um in real life it looks slightly different than it is i'm gonna see if i can get it you know where i hold it up against the window with the light facing back on it on the camera because usually that's how you get a better image of what the vinyl actually looks like so it is me from the future basically when you hold up these kind of vinyl against the light they do absolutely nothing because they are not marble and they're not transparent or anything so this is a better kind of view of what it actually looks like in terms of the color so i'm going to be showing you all the vinyl kind of like this rather than against the light like i normally do simply because you're getting a more accurate reflection of what the color looks like here than when i hold it up against the window it's probably a nicer color in person than it's showing on camera it's got more of a purpley tint especially when you have it this way up to the light it's got kind of a purpley kind of tint but oh, this is a beautiful color that is absolutely stunning okay so on disc one side a we've got welcome to new york blank space style out of the woods and all you had to do was stay and then on side b for disc one shake it off i wish you would bad blood and how you get the girl so the inner bits are oh they're almost the same but depending on which side it is like so one is just like a one seagull two is two seagulls i imagine on disc two it's three seagulls and four seagulls but we'll check that out so that is beautiful oh i love that i didn't know how much i was gonna like it because i'm kind of a i'm a pink girl and i i was thinking it was gonna look more like the lover blue but it's definitely a nicer shade of blue than that not that the lover blue is a bad one but i think that's a really nice shade so there's no like lyric booklet or anything with this with midnights there was actually a lyric booklet in it but usually there's not a lyric booklet they just have the lyrics printed on these but what i do like is that they've incorporated the photo shoot into the lyrics rather than just having it be completely lyrics i think that's a really nice touch i think it just it just shows that they're putting effort into it so the second disc is exactly the same so you get in the exact same color and yes the seagulls there are more of them kind of to tell you which one so on disc two side a we've got this love i know places clean wonderland and you are in love so that has got the three seagulls and then on disc two side b new romantics um can i say this word on here slut i'm gonna say it um say don't go now that we don't talk suburban legends and is it over now and obviously those last five are the songs from the vault so there we go stunning i really like that really nice shade of blue really impressed with that honestly yeah i think i was really impressed with the cds yesterday that they put so much effort in the lyric booklets were actually different whereas usually that's not the case so yeah love stunning yeah they've done a really good job on this it just it's nice when you spend quite a bit of money on these things because this was about i think 34.99 so it is quite expensive you are getting two lps in this though so it's kind of like understandable but yeah really really nice love that okay what should we do next we have them behind us we have all five so i'll probably do tangerine last simply because it's the one closest to this and that is the one that's like the target exclusive so let's go have a look at the other ones okay next up we're going to do sunrise boulevard yellow so this is what it looks like that is the hype sticker it says the exact same things on the hype sticker apart from obviously the color so sunrise boulevard yellow edition click till four special edition 2lp on two um sunrise boulevard yellow vinyl uh, unique photos five previously unreleased songs from the vault i'm least excited to see this color vinyl i'm least excited i i just i don't know what to expect but i do like that they're opaque because when they're opaque they're usually more uniform because sometimes if you get them when they're marbled some of the vinyl look really really good so you see people online get these stunning vinyl and you're like whoa i hope mine looks like that and then when yours comes it looks absolutely nothing like that the only really yellow vinyl i have right now is the 
uh, mahogany one, which should have been a brown. If you know me, you'll know that I, I have a deep hatred of the mahogany vinyl because it was meant to be this beautiful mahogany colour and it came and it was yellow. And that's because it was kind of transparent. Whereas if you get it when it's opaque, it's just so much better, I think. Oh, so this has come up very satisfyingly. Oh, that was nice. There we go. Does this one say where it's from? So this one was made in France. There you go. So this is one. This, the Sunrise Boulevard one was made in France. The previous Crystal Skies, that was made in Germany. There you go. But I did buy that one from HMV, so maybe that's why. So stunning. And we've got different photos as well. Oh, I love this photo shoot so much. I especially love the ones where she looks so happy. They're just so nice. Really great photos. Oh, I love this. So um, this is the back cover as well. I did say this on the previous video as um, I don't like the back bit. I like the fact it's a handwriting and everything, but I think it's very, very difficult to read because the words are just a bit too close together. Also, as you can see, yes, this has a big eight on it. I know it has a nine on it. I know my numbers. Um, and that is because when you have them all turned around, it's like the midnight's clock. It makes a nice 89, which is super cool. So open her back up this gorgeous let's see if these are different as well they are okay this is really good so these bits are different too these holding the actual vinyl oh fantastic love this also what i didn't notice in the last one is the numbers for the songs they have a little the num like the number so one is a little in the seagull i just think that's so cool oh it's you know what this is like the color of a foam banana uh, maybe a bit lighter than a foam banana but really nice i didn't think i was gonna like this one i must admit i didn't i think i was worried we were gonna have another mahogany midnight moment but yeah obviously the tracks are the same on each side on the thing so i won't repeat that but it does have that bit in the middle with the seagull and that is the same so it's just got the one on disc a sorry disc one side a and then disc two side b it's got the two seagulls really really nice and it is very similar the inner bit to the actual cd as well i'll just show you just for reference the difference between the two there there you go so that is that really really nice great photographs in this i love this beautiful and then we've got another one as well i would maybe like that if because i think this is just so good i'm really trying to find faults that if it was like the lover one where there was two different colours in each, I think that would be quite nice. But again, I am really, really trying to find faults here because everything so far is so good. But you know, we're trying to give a full a full opinion for you all so you can kind of decide for yourself which one you want and stuff. So this is disc two, side B. That's disc two, side A. Disc two, side B. This is the one with the bolt tracks on. Yeah, really, really nice. Very surprisingly impressed. I'm very surprisingly impressed with this. There we go. Gorgeous. Really like this one. Very impressed. Honestly, really, really good. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the Aquamarine Green. So this one did come from Taylor Swift's website. It was the first one to actually arrive. This one arrived on release day with the rest of them from Taylor's website in terms of vinyl arrived on the Saturday. There we go. Gorgeous. And this is another one that is made in France. There you go. And then we have the hype sticker absolutely stunning i really do like these i love that they've got different covers i was a little bit disappointed with speak now taylor's version vinyl because i did buy all three variants but they all have the same cover whereas i think it's nicer when they have different covers especially because i display the covers not the vinyl so it's nicer when when you have that i think there we go so make sure you preserve that hype sticker if you want to take that off oh love it so nice and then we've got that eight on the back there to make that 1989 really like this so good and let's open her up yep we've got some more different pictures as well really like this it's kind of more like a film reel rather than like polaroids which i do like obviously i did really love the polaroid kind of theme but i think it's good to kind of mix things up with taylor's version um so yeah really good photographs again also i love how high quality these photos are as well because with a lot of the original 1989 photo shoot it was done on polaroid cameras so that it's not the highest quality um whereas these ones are all pretty pretty high quality they're probably done on film cameras but they are still very high quality there we go let's have a look i'm excited oh this is nice so yeah these are really stunning honestly really stunning colors i really like the pastel theme on this now 1989 is a city album it is not it is not 
it's not a beach album no matter what taylor swift tries to tell us it is a city album so there you go that is what the inner bit looks like on that disc one side a and then disc one side b with those seagulls i do like that we're using more of the seagulls because the seagulls were like a part of obviously the original version too but yes 1989 is a city album i'm sorry taylor it's not it's not a beach album there you go gorgeous Oh, great pictures on this one. I really like this. And then let's open this up. Again, same colour. Really, really nice. So you've got disc two side B and disc two side A there. So with the three seagulls, four seagulls. Love this so much. Really beautiful colour, this. Really impressed. And really, really nice. It's kind of, you know, it's giving mint chalk chip, I think. Which is a good thing, because I love mint chalk chip. So, yeah really good honestly i'm really 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 impressed like i knew i was gonna love this because 969 is like my favorite taylor album it's my favorite taylor era and i kind of just knew i would just love it because obviously i love these songs so much and i trust taylor swift with everything ever so yeah really impressed with this absolutely stunning this is the one i'm most excited for i love pink i'm so excited for this i hope it is beautiful and stunning i love the cover of this i love everything about it this is like i think one of the last variants apart from the tangerine to be released on the site she released the other variants first um and i think people were just so excited for this one because it's pink and i mean everybody loves pink this is the back cover so it's got a nine on that back cover and then the hype sticker is there oh my gosh i'm so excited okay this one isn't going to come off as smoothly as that last one i don't think Okay, okay, calm, calm. Ah! Okay. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Also, I love those shoes. The one she has on the Aquamarine one, she's got them on there as well. Wow. I'm so excited to see this vinyl. I'm so stressed. I'm so excited. This is. Honestly, vinyl is so exciting because you just. You never know like what it's going to properly look like. Whereas with the CD, I think you do more. But vinyl kind of vary more. Oh, lovely pictures here. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, ah, it's pink! I mean, I knew it was going to be pink, but it's a nice shade. Oh, this is an even nicer shade than the lover one, and I didn't think that was possible. This is like my favourite shade of pink. Oh, it's so nice. So there you go. You can see on the inner bit, it's different. So the inner bit is closer to the CD color, whereas obviously then the vinyl is slightly different, but this is <gasps> so nice. I'll just show you those inner bits. So all of the inner bits are the same on every single album. It's not like a picture. It's literally just like the color of the vinyl and then there is seagulls on it to count the number of sides, which I've mentioned so many times because I think it's really cool. This is cool. This is a good one. This is my favorite. I, I don't even know what the tangerine is gonna look like yet, but I already know for a fact that this is my favorite. Okay, and then let's get the second one out as well. Oh, I love these pictures too. Oh wait, that one. I love that picture so much. I think that is one of my new favorite pictures of Taylor ever. Oh, she's so pretty. So we've got disc two side A and then disc two side B there. It's, it's a good one. It's a good one. Taylor has done well with this. And let me show you the comparison with the CD. So there you go. So this is the colour of the CD. So as you can see, the CD is very close to the inner bit of that rather than the actual colour of the vinyl. But yeah. I love it so much. It's so pink. Uh, I'm a pink girly and this has this has made me very, very, very happy. So we stand. Let's try pop you back in there. There we go. Oh, that was so nice. Okay, that is my favourite one. I'm sorry, Tangerine. I know I've not opened you yet, but this has to be my favourite. It's pink. It's stunning. It's beautiful. We love her. So oh, this version is the Tangerine version. And it is the last one we're going to be going through today. It's the final version. So I got this off of Taylor's online store. In the US, you can get it from Target as well. In the UK, you can also get it from record stores and HMV and things like that. But yes, this is the Target version. There you go. So with Speak Now, with the Target version for there, they actually had a Target sticker on, whereas this doesn't have anything to do with Target on, um, which is more like normal. But yes, this one also has a bonus track on, and that bonus track is Sweeter Than Fiction. So if you don't know, Sweeter Than Fiction is from the 1989 era, kind of red 1989 era, and it's a song that was released. It was the first time Taylor worked with Jack, 
and it was for a film i believe it was called one chance it was about paul potts basically winning britain's got talent um and i think it starred james corden as well um but yeah this is the tangerine version so let's go open her and for anyone curious this one is made in germany interesting so the ones with the covers that are like this uh, you know with the normal traditional kind of the normal generic cover for 1989 taylor's version were both made in germany i don't know if that's the same for you guys let me know in the comments um where your vinyl were made from so we've got to preserve that hype sticker especially this one because it's got a bonus track on so yeah as you can see the hype sticker is slightly different on that because of that bonus track but the front and back cover are the same as the normal version now I do kind of wish that the cover was different but again we're being critical it's kind of like Midnight's where at least with Midnight's though it was slightly different because the lavender one had like a lavender tint to it and had lavender colours but I still really like her so she looks like this she's stunning that is the back cover and as you can see this one is slightly different because it does have sweeter than fiction on okay let's open her up stunning gorgeous and yeah this has the same like inner bits as the normal generic version the crystal skies one. Oh, i was not expect i know i should have expecting it considering it was tangerine to look kind of orange but it's nice i do like it. it's definitely not my favorite the rose garden is remaining my favorite but it is nice i think of all the variants it's probably my least favorite but it is really nice and that is just because the other variants are so nice i think they all look really really good together with these pastel colors oh i do love so let's pop you back in there and the second one so then obviously this one has that extra track on so it's got sweeter than fiction there so it is slightly different there you go so that's the sweeter than fiction lyrics pictures of taylor and stunning so um so, oh this one's damaged oh that's not good so we have a damaged vinyl ladies and gentlemen there you go you can see it was not printed correctly the sticker it looks like two had been printed if if not more so um that calls for the online store to be contacted because sometimes when these are printed on it wrong it means that the vinyl can't play properly especially if it's actually on the other bits of the vinyl i'm quite lucky that it's only on the middle but you can see there two of these have been printed um on so it is um slightly weird there can you see i don't want to touch the vinyl um there you go so yeah you can see it's got two of them printed on but that's just what happens you know sometimes there are faulty ones it's inevitable but you can see that is what a faulty one looks like for anyone who is curious um it should look more like that but this is the first time i've ever got a faulty one so i can't complain i don't think it's taylor's store fault i think sometimes they just do faulty ones with vinyl but what i wanted to show is that a disc to side b it's got the vault tracks on but it's also got sweeter than fiction and new romantics is on the first side excited to listen to sweeter than fiction taylor's version and i hope that does make it to streaming because it would be a shame if it didn't make it to streaming i think a big part of taylor's version is streaming taylor's version so i would be surprised if she didn't put it on so yeah those are all of 1989 Taylor's version vinyl that you can currently get. I wouldn't be surprised in the future if there were more released like Midnight's. With Midnight's there was the Love Potion one that was released and basically what that was is the lavender one but it was made in Canada rather than France I think so it's slightly different colour so they branded it as a new variant. But yeah those are all of the versions of 1989 Taylor's version. I really hope you like this video. I've loved making it so much. I love collecting these Taylor's with vinyl. I cannot believe people actually wanted to see this video as well. That means the absolute world. I'm totally not smiling loads and being like ah but yeah thank you so much if you've requested it and stuff and wanted to see it it means a lot to me it makes me feel good that i've just purchased five vinyl of the same album uh, but yeah i hope this helps i know i never want to seem like i'm bragging or whatever like i use i have a full-time job i work to pay for these things and stuff i know some people were a bit upset on other videos that it seemed like I was bragging but that's never my intention at all my intention is to kind of show you guys what these vinyl look like to help you make an informed decision you are not any more or less of a fan if you have all five or if you have none um it's completely up to you i only recently well relatively recently started collecting vinyl with red taylor's version so it's never too late to start your collection if you want to it is quite an expensive hobby to do but it's something i enjoy doing and i really like showing you guys guys these things and i hope it helps you make a decision on what you want but yeah let me know in the comments which variant you like the most which one you are getting which one you have i love reading your comments so much it's always so much fun uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you did like this video i love making it so much thank you so much for watching uh, if you're new here make sure to subscribe that'd be so so cool um i've just hit 5k which is like ah 
<laughs> so cool um because last year i think i had 2k so it's like whoa um thanks everybody that's really nice um i'm just gonna go freak out over that uh, but yeah thank you so much um for watching this thank you for watching my other videos and everything it means a lot um yeah um and yeah i just i hope you like this and uh, if you want to check out my CD one, let me know in the comments. If you've got any questions about any of the vinyl CD, anything like that, put them in the comments. I'm more than happy to ha answer them because I know £34 or £39, depending on where you buy it, is quite a lot of money and stuff. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about them. But thank you again. I've said like thank you a million times, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you really like this. I love making it. And as always, have a great day. Mm -hmm.